<laughs> okay. I come in here yesterday and I found a giant tomato hornworm on these tomato plants in here. And then I come in here and found another one over here. And you can see the damage it did. <laughs> and so I pulled it off and dropped it down here. And I thought, well, I'll finish watering real quick. And I can't find it now. <laughs> and things will... Oh. oh, that's not it. It's a huge tomato hornworm. So probably what I'm going to have to do is come up here tonight with a black light and get in here. See if I can't find it because they will strip your plant pretty quick. I'm surprised to find them. They must have. <sighs> Look at that. Doggone it. Well, there's just nothing safe when you bring it from outside inside, then this is what you deal with. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. I came in here and I saw stuff moving on my. Bronze fennel here, which I just stripped a bunch of the leaves off. Look what I found. It's awfully late in the season, so I found another round of these swallowtail caterpillars. Which, if I don't take care of them, they will not make it. So, since I'm into butterfly conservation, I'm going to be caring for them. <laughs> that just blows my mind about the the tomato hornworm. I don't like them things. I need to get it out of here so it doesn't eat all my plants. So I'm going to have to, the next nice day, when it's pretty decent, I'll pull everything out of here. And probably repot a lot of things. Get the smaller stuff up on the shelves and rearrange this a lot better. And then also pull the stuff from the other greenhouse in here too. And just use this greenhouse for all my stuff. And then I will use the other greenhouse for seed starters. I need about 10 greenhouses. Oh, there he is. See him? He's already traveling back up. That's how fast they operate. Look at that. I'm going back up my plant. Back on it. Let's see if I have something to get him off of there. Um. can brush him off. They're little fast suckers, aren't they? Now where'd he go? <laughs> there he is. Oh, He's knocking the blooms off of this. Pretty nice big size. The one I took off yesterday was twice this size. Ugh. Look at him. Ugh. I know, they make a real pretty moth though. But I just don't want to raise him. They sure do a lot of damage to the tomatoes. Okay. So back over here. Let me turn this around. Look at all these. <laughs> oh my goodness. And by tomorrow, they will have eaten a ton of that. There's 10 of these caterpillars. 
There's a couple that are different colors, so I'm going to look up and see. I know I have a, several eastern black swallowtails, and then I have some other ones that are a little bit darker. I may have some tiger swallowtails. But they wouldn't make it if I just left them. It's too late in the season. I wanted to check that. So anyway, my husband and I are going to have a picnic. It's a little windy, but we're going to have a picnic. And I need to go into the house and make made some vegan cheese for vegan mac and cheese and it's absolutely amazing it tastes so good i need to make my gluten-free pasta get him his gluten-free pasta and pack up the picnic stuff and have our little picnic on it trying to save seeds Anyway, I wanted to share that with you and sh share the video of the monarch. Getting to film it. That just blows my mind. I got that close to it. Hi guys. Going to be at Hard Night Farm. Hope you all have a blessed evening now. I'm like, I have lines. Saw another one over here earlier. Pretty good sized one, too. Where'd it go? Over there. See that big line? Okay. Don't have a good day or evening. Bye.